Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about the EZA concepts for the free-to-play Golden Frieza and Broly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie story event. And it's coming in from Quill Coiner. But before I go ahead and read Quill Coiner's cards, send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Let's see what Coil has to say inside of the email. So, so earlier today... I was thinking about a sort of missed opportunity during the ninth anniversary, and that was the EZA for the two free-to-play cards that have been around since the first DFE Broly from Super. While I understand they were probably shelved because they share the same name with the two new units of the ninth anniversary, <laughs> I still feel their EZA is long overdue. I agree. So here's my take on them. Now, I did throw these two cards on the dock. I'm going to read both of them for today. This is rare because uh, um, normally I do just one custom card, and well, or easy a concept guys, you are completely fine to send me easy a concepts. If you feel as if though, uh, you don't want to do a custom card and you would rather do this by all means, I will read it. And I've read plenty of easy a concepts just like in the past. So, um, with that being said, uh, today's going to be one of those rare days where I'm going to read two cards in one video. Yeah, because I realized how small these passives were, and I feel as if though if I just read Frieza, the video is going to be like three minutes long. And I just I just figure why why just read one card when I can read both of them, or both of them are pretty small. Now granted, did I skip over a couple of cards in the pass that had smaller passives, and I could have just got both of them out the way? Probably, maybe I should have just read those cards back then that had like smaller passes just to get them out the way but that just means that when we get to the live stream it's going to be much more faster to get through the live stream with all those smaller passive cards i do think i should have did it for sure you know what moving moving on now like from here on out if the card passes look like this we're definitely gonna just bang those out within the same video yeah i don't know why i would just like let the video run for like five minutes talking about a card like this yeah, I should have did that earlier. That's just a bit of a bonehead move by me. I mean, but yeah, don't don't mind me. <laughs> so, um, Golden Freeze. Let's see what we got here. So, uh, um, Golden Freeze, like extreme physical. He's one of these just he's just an old free to play card. He should have definitely got an easy A. I absolutely agree with the uh, Coil Coiner. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. So his new leader skill will be transformation boost three key and seventy seven percent stats. So of course, easy A area leader skill and his super attack, that being the death beam extreme, he gets hundred percent defense one turn, as well as raising allies attack by forty percent for one turn. And his passive, that being true evil, he starts out with two hundred percent attack and one hundred and sixty percent defense, as well as forty four percent damage reduction baseline, which is obviously very nice for a free to play unit to have. And he gets twenty percent attack and defense up to one hundred percent attack and defense for each attack received. So he has to take five attacks. And he gives movie bosses or transformation boost category allies three key and 40% attack and defense, which is obviously good. And he guards for the first four turns of battle. And then from the fifth turn and onward, he has a 70% chance to guard. And he gets an additional 8% damage reduction up to 24% damage reduction, of course, but each attack performed. And he launches a guarantee super when facing a super bosses or super heroes category. No. I thought that was I thought that was gonna say enemy, excuse me. He launches a guarantee super when facing a superheroes or super bosses category ally. Yeah. Wait, what? I think he meant super bosses category enemy. I think that's what he meant. Because it says launches a guarantee super when facing a super bosses. No, it's a superheroes. Or when there's a super Okay, I'm I'm tripping. Because <laughs> it is worded a little weird. Because it says launches an additional super attack when facing a superheroes or super bosses category ally. I think he meant enemy. I think I think what he meant to put was launches a guarantee super when facing a superheroes category enemy or the superheroes enemy or when there's a super bosses category ally attack in the same turn or starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. Okay, so nice he does get the guarantee super off nonetheless. Um, so um, what what do we have here? This guy starts out with guard and 44% damage reduction. It just takes him how many attacks to build up all that damage reduction? That is, uh, that's three attacks. It takes him three attacks for him to get to a total of 66% damage reduction in guard as a free to play, and it's not bad at all. So he can get up to 66% damage reduction and guard. Um, that's that's good. <laughs> While being able to support and easily build up his attack and defense above, just like by him receiving attacks. Um, launch a guarantee super granted of course you're gonna have the super bosses character attacking the same turn with him um yeah 
this guy is he's good hi wow i i don't really know much more to say here <laughs> so um freeze is good and his super attack effect is quite good too 100 percent defense one turn definitely good for a free to play unit with uh, up to 66 percent damage reduction and guard it's very nice uh, being able to support and being a, being able to get a double super off so he can master his defense twice within the turn is that's just good okay so let's see broly okay so broly's new leader skill is buffed up to three key and, four, and 77 percent of the stats i'll say 44 percent i am tweaking today his super attack that being the giant impact stream i completely forgot about this broly by the way he greatly stacks attack and regularly stacks defense and he has a 30 percent chance to stun all right and he starts at 180% attack and defense and guards, just unrestricted, nice. And he gets an additional 30% attack and defense at the start of each turn up to 90% attack and 120% defense. And he gets an additional 120% attack and 90% defense performing a super attack. And he performs an additional super attack when facing a Wicked Bloodline or Earthbred Fighter category enemy. And he gets 30% damage reduction when facing a Super Heroes or Super Bosses category enemy, okay. And he launches a guaranteed super and attacks are guaranteed to hit when facing a pure Saiyans or time limit category ally. Huh? Why does it say that again? It says launches a guaranteed super and attacks are guaranteed to hit when facing a pure Saiyans or time limit category ally. I think he meant I think he meant category enemy. Yeah, I think that's what he meant. Um, but yeah, Broly. Stacking, guarding. He'll have damage reduction grants you going up against that specific superheroes or super bosses enemy. Um this guy could get cooked because he definitely needs that damage reduction. A stacking free-to-play unit that has guard. He definitely needs that damage reduction. Absolutely. That defensive stat is too low for him to fall back on. Like, I mean, we look at Frieza. Frieza has 66% damage reduction in guard. I mean, supporting, guarantee super building up his attack and defense buff very easily massively raising his defense for one turn still supporting inside a super attack effect too and then we have uh broly yeah freeze is better yeah freeze is better for sure um i do like that he i like that he is a stacker but for him to safely stack he definitely needs that damage reduction with his guard because he'll die through that guard because he is a free-to-play uh unit of course with, with low stats um and yeah he is restricted to ver to versing a specific enemy as well as of course for him is guaranteed super you really want this guaranteed super absolutely yeah you want both these guaranteed super so you want to verse a earthbred fighter slash pure saiyans category enemy yeah absolutely you want to verse a earthbred fighting <laughs> earthbred fighter <laughs> superheroes pure saiyan for those two guaranteed supers and that 30% damage reduction. And bare minimum, you want to verse a superheroes or super bosses category enemy. Because if you don't, um, A, he's either going to take too much damage at the start of turn, or he's going to stack up too slow. Yeah. Because he has a ton of restrictions on his his um guarantee supers. Yeah. Other than that, I do like the fact that he's getting attack and defense buff from his pass to a super attack effect. I like that he's building up at the start of each turn. That is cool. Um, and I do like that he's guarding unrestricted, but he is heavily restricted on these parts of his kits, which does make sense. Uh, but that is something that does hurt him. I guess this is accurate to the movie, but even if then, um, Freeze is better. Absolutely. So yeah, um, Coil Corner, W cards. Yeah, W picks too. Absolutely. Um, but that's going to be about it. Uh, send me custom cards over to vhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. While I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and join the 24-7 Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join the Discord server today. And that is all. Peace.